All right, so we're gonna have two lines here. So I need half of you guys over there. Right now, half of you guys there, half of you here with the balls. Okay, good. All right, so the group that's here is the group that's gonna shoot and on our whistle, all right, just stay right on the 25, 25 here, 25 right here on this line. So on my whistle, you're coming directly into the crease, right, like this is your role. So far we've talked about popping and fading. Right now we're gonna hit the crease. Okay, so this is basically a backdoor cut. You're gonna catch it. Now this isn't necessarily a move we're gonna work on in the game. It's very much like a basketball move. All right, it's modeled off of what Dirk Nowitzki does with his European trainers. What a lot of these guys like Steve Nash, Kobe Bryant, they're all adopting, putting themselves in awkward positions, but thinking functionally how they can get the ball in a targeted area on the net. Okay, so when we're coming from this side, we're catching it right-handed, back to the net. We're gonna switch to our left hand, and again, focus on the pivot that we've been talking about all weekend. Switch to our left hand, use this pivot to turn it in one motion, come all the way around through to that lower corner, okay? What this drill is also good at doing is eliminating that extra cradle habit that we have when we turn and cradle and shoot, okay? Because that's gonna slow all your momentum down. So as you come, you wanna catch it, switch, pivot, and in one motion, try and turn and shoot. All right, so again, righty, plant, plant, turn, shoot. All right, pass it over there. When we switch and we're going lefty, we're cutting with our left hand, plant, plant, turn, and shoot, okay? So again, putting ourselves in a weary, really unique position, all right, but working on taking our momentum from our back shoulder up and around, down and through, okay? The only time where this will be applicable will be on a man up situation, all right? And if you're not a crease guy, a lot of college offenses run a wheel offense on the power play, which means you're gonna pass across, cycle through. You'll be here, they'll pass down, pass back up, you'll cycle around. So there will be a chance where maybe the guy's not covering, you catch it up top, you have to turn and shoot, okay? All right, so let's see it here. Ready? Yep, you're gonna pass and switch lines. Ready, go ahead. Catch, plant. All right, so what we wanna do here, so the difference here, guys, all right, is when Alakwa caught it, all right, he switched first. No, he planted, then switched, right? So he caught it, planted, then switched. So I want this to be simultaneous, okay? Here we go, let's see it. Get in there, get in there, get in there. This is all, the cut is all part of the play. Good, nice job, go ahead, next guy. Catch, plant with that left foot, good, turn and down, nice job, here we go. Catch, plant, turn, good motion. Good, this is good. So the other thing, as you guys keep shooting while I'm talking here, all right, is the realization of where you are on the field, how important that is at the next level, okay? There are times where we're doing this, there are times where we're dodging the alleys, where if you practice and understand where you are on the field, you shouldn't have to look at the net. You know the motion through repetition, what gets the ball turned into the far pipe. That's why if you can get to the middle when you catch guys, you have a better idea of where you are because you're dead center. Okay, eliminate those steps. Boom, and it's out and down, nice job. Remember here, get it down, good. The final thing that this drill really does is emphasizes the muscle groups that you need to activate to get the ball over and down, which is difficult not only to do, but very difficult to save. Good, here we go. Get to that middle. Do the little things, guys. Get to the middle, good. Good, get to the middle and drive it down. Over the top and down, good. Over the top and down. Here we go. That's all right, here we go, better pass. Here we go, plant outside, switch, good motion, but we need to get you to the middle. Plant, switch, eliminate those cradles. That's where we want to attack right here with this drill. We want to accomplish, we want to accomplish hitting those, having those cradles, eliminating them. Here we go, plant, turn, good, that's great, that's better. Plant, turn, nice. Plant, turn, great, here we go. Plant, right, turn, good. Here we go, get to that middle, I'm telling you guys, just like the drill we did last night, if you can get to the spot first, your job's gonna be a hell of a lot easier. Good, nice, get there, drive up, turn, beautiful. Get it down, use that shoulder, come over the top, Tom Brady style. 
Good. Come over to the top and through. Over the top, drive down. Boom. That's beautiful. Safety with your wrist. We gotta get set, Hawk. Like this. Good. There you go. Good. You gotta get your body set before the ball comes. You're so much better now. And it's down. Beautiful. Perfect. Turn and it's down. Nice shot. That's great. Mark that one. Good. That's a good turn. You got there early. That's great. Here we go. Turn. Boom. Good spot. Turn. Nice. Nice. We got a few more guys. We got about six more. Turn. Good. Keep it up. Good. Get that thing down. We got to get your shoulder up. That's the, that's the biggest challenge here for you. It'll make the biggest difference as well. You gotta get your shoulder up, okay? It'll help you get the ball down. Get your shoulder up and down. Good, great shot. Here we go, turn, it's down, good. Turn, down, here we go. Nice, good motion, good swing. Turn, down. Good, good footwork. At some point, you start to believe that you're a finished product. If you look at where Paul was as a senior in college, we're gonna right? We're going to do one dodge on the first cone, then we're going to hit a second cone up near goal line extended. All right, we're going to do a 